I want to make a video about is it worth getting a new gear and I mean I've already kind of talked about it and I really said no I mean it's not worth getting the new gear at all um and besides that I mean it's all about kingdom relations so like Zuby I've become such a good friend with this guy and then Pyro he's such a new guy like he kind of came into the fact after I quit but I mean I kind of talked to him and you know I'm making amends with him. I want to join Sin. I do. But I think I'm going to be selling my account. Um, and it just. You got to give in something and become friends with everyone in order to make sure that you're not a target. And even then, you need to be careful. You need to always keep an eye out and make sure that you're still in good terms with everyone in this game because people can turn on you in a second in a heartbeat because there's a lot of drama in this game and there's a lot you know a lot of things that can be going on that you're not really so positive about but really you know what it comes down to is always making sure that you're from you know you're you're on good terms with everyone. You don't want to be like the public whore who's just dealing with everybody. So it, it's it's really a tough business because how do you maintain a relationship with everyone at the same time? I mean, all I've done was I came in here and I said, all right, I'm advocating for peace. We need to start immediately. Like as soon as I got in here, <clears throat> immediately like, look, I played King of Babylon. It's an exact copy of this game. I know how this game works, and I know that if we don't, if we don't listen, if we listen to what the developers want us to do, everyone's going to quit. People are going to die in the game, and people are going to get very upset. And I don't want that. I like this kingdom, and I want to see it prosper and grow. And I started advocating for a 24-hour kill event, and I got a lot of people on board. I knew who was going to be a big, and I knew, like, you know, all right, these people are going to be, you know, large players in politics in this game. And I started forming around them, and I started talking to them, and I, you know, you got to feed into them, and also at the same time, you know, put in your own aspirations and goals for this game. And you got to do that immediately. I mean, it's easy to come in to play um, later on in the game. But if you're coming into play later on in the game, what you have to do, the only way to really survive at that point, is by um, becoming a large force later on, later on in the game, like Pyro, and then taking the kingdom <coughs> for your own by killing off people. And it's not good because that's going to kill off a lot of people from the game. And if you're trying to advocate for peace, you know, it's a double-edged sword. You're advocating for peace by killing everyone. So, with that aspect, it's just fucked. Sorry, I should not say that. Um, it just, it's not good. Because, I mean, there's very little of, as to what you can do um, to advocate for your peace and get that done if, you know, if you come in late. And, you know, not everyone was on board. You know, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but the video C35 for C30 Wild, Wild Chase and Zero Wing. That video literally stemmed off the fact that these couple people did not like me. They did not like the ideals that I was portraying and what I wanted for my kingdom. And they got a group, small group, very small group together, and they wanted to fight us. And they wanted to pretty much, you know, say, look, we're not giving in, we're not giving you what you want. Because we don't, we want to follow what the developers are saying. We don't want you to stop making us play our game. <coughs> um, so, you know, they wanted to go to war over it. And that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, but at the same time, they knew how to play the game so well that it's not an, it's not fun anymore. It's not worth it anymore. So, 
I mean, at that point, it's just like, you know, is it even worth it? And is is it worth it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just, it's not. It's not worth it to fight over that. It's not worth it to fight like that. And because no matter what you do, there's really no winning. People are gonna get killed, and people are gonna quit. Exactly. They they don't teach you how to play this game. There is no written guide. There is no guidebook. It's literally what you make of the game. And if you follow the guidelines of a 72-hour kill event from from King of Avalon or from Guns of Glory in the event center, you're just you're gonna kill your kingdom. It'll work perfectly when everyone's a C22. But once you get one C30, everyone's dying. Everyone's quitting. Because there's literally nothing you can do about it. When I played King of Avalon, I was a C18. That was the most I could amount to until I joined this alliance called GOT, Game of Thrones. I was a C18, and no, no one in my alliance knew how to play the game. I was the R5, and I didn't know anything about Kingdom Relations. I just knew there's a C30, and we're friends with him. We do whatever we he tells us to do, and... You know, we're fine. And then this new alliance came out and they said, Hey, this man, he's not going to be in the game for much longer. We know how to play the game. Come to us. I took a gamble. A gamble that I, I didn't really understand at the time. And I joined this new alliance. And when I joined this new alliance, I gained a lot of friends. And we started talking on Discord all the time. I got this app called Line. And I started communicating with, you know, all these alliance members. And they taught me how to play the game. They told me what to spend on. And I'm like, well, I'm not really into spending right now. You know, I, I don't want to spend my money on a phone game. I haven't even spent a dollar yet. And I actually, my girlfriend that I played with, she's like, you need to spend a dollar. Like, you get so many free abilities in this game if you spend a dollar. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't spend money on games. I don't. That, that's just something I don't do. And... I spent the dollar, and then it was probably five months later, and I became friends with this guy named Swag, and he taught me how to play the game, and I saw firsthand, I'm a C24 now, C22, C23 going on to C24, and I see firsthand, you know, what's actually going on in this game, and I, I became an R4, at, and that was part of the deal that I had, and I was in the inner circle. And I said, guys, I don't like this anymore. You know, we're getting pushed around. I don't want us to die. And I said, I'm spending money. I spent all my money on stats. I spent no money on going up in levels. And they were pushing swag. Swag went to C30 before me. And I was sitting at C24. And I was, and became a very, very quickly, became a very well-known name in the kingdom. Swag and I went on these guerrilla warfare battles, and we just went around and killed everybody. No one could stop us. We angered everyone so much, but we got what we needed, and we needed peace. And we got peace through killing. And in the killing, most of our kingdom di died and quit the game. And that's not really fun. It's not fun to see, you know, your kingdom quit and give up around you. <coughs> so, I mean, besides that, you know, what else is there to do? And, just, there's no, nothing that tells you what to do or how to play the game. It's all about what do you make of this game. You know, what are you doing to achieve the goals and aspirations that you want for your game? And really, like, the only thing that there is to it is it's all about who you meet, it's all about who you talk to, and it's all about what they want. What does your big want out of your kingdom? Does he just want to go around and kill everyone? 
If he wants to go around and kill everyone, you fi figure that out as soon as possible. Because there is nothing worth wasting your time in that game anymore. Because if he just wants to kill everyone, no one's safe. Not even his own alliance members. Because after he's done killing everyone else, he's going to turn it his back and start killing them, too. So, I mean, that that's really the gist of it. There, there is no, nowhere is safe. Alright guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching.